oh, that golden light. It is evening, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of people ask me, where do you park? How do you find safe spots to sleep? What do you do at night? And I've decided that I am just going to show you instead of tell you. So today I've brought you along to one of my favorite places to sleep when I am vehicle living. It's super easy, super convenient. They're pretty much everywhere. It's the one, the only Planet Fitness. By the way guys, this is not sponsored by Planet Fitness, but Planet Fitness, if you want to sponsor me, um, I do great advertising, so hit me up. So Planet Fitness is great to park at at night because there's this unspoken rule with stealth camping, which is arrive late, leave early. If you're gonna be parking in a random neighborhood somewhere, yes, you should definitely do that. You should arrive late after everyone in the neighborhood has gone to bed and then you should leave early before everybody gets up. That way you don't look suspicious and weird and like a child abductor van or, or, or car, you know, equality. But Planet Fitness, is a little different. Usually Planet Fitness is open for 24 hours. The virus has made that a little bit different. I know a lot of them are not open 24 hours anymore, but they're still open way late into the night and then very, very early in the morning. So your chances of being disturbed while you're resting at night are very slim. And it doesn't look weird to be parked there all night because you could just be inside getting fit and fine. It's almost summertime. And I almost never arrive too late to Planet Fitness. Like right now, it's still broad daylight. But that is because unlike other places where you just go and park there and then immediately bed down and go to sleep, here you can go inside and use the facilities. And actually you should because it'll make your night, um, it'll make it good. I promise. It's so nice to not have to be able to do your entire nighttime routine inside of your vehicle all the time. When you get out of your car here at Planet Fitness, you can go in, work out if you like that sort of thing. You can go to the shower and clean yourself up. You can wash your face, brush your teeth, all the things that you should be doing. Hi, bestie. Um, I don't know who that is. Cameo. And then you can come back to sleep and you will be nice and clean and refreshed. And that's the best way to do it. So what I usually do is I get here, I park, I go inside and work out, AKA I get on the elliptical and put on music and then just zone out for 30 minutes. And then I shower and do everything that I need to do. And then I come back and I can get into bed all moisturized and feeling luxurious and nourished. And like I just fed my soul and my body. And when you get back, you can sleep right in the parking lot. And it's also not a place that you have to be super stealth because let's be honest, if you pass by a Planet Fitness at night and you see a bunch of other vans parked in the parking lot, you know exactly what the fuck is going on. There's definitely somebody sleeping in there. And that's fine. Actually, it's better to be around other people in their vans because you feel less out of place and you feel less self-conscious. You feel like, okay, other people are doing this so I can do this too. It's not as scary. Not to mention it kind of makes it safer. Strength in numbers. And then as far as like getting knocks from law enforcement and stuff, again, nobody's really gonna bother you because you could just be inside working out. So the first thing you wanna do before you go into a Planet Fitness is prep. So I have my gym bag here. I got it Ross for like $20 or something like that. Make sure you have your towel. Oh my gosh, there is nothing more frustrating than getting yourself together, walking all the way in, checking in, getting to the locker room, and then realizing you forgot a towel. So have your towel. Don't forget your shower shoes. Another really, really annoying thing to have to walk all the way back and get. A change of clothes. Make sure you have clothes to change into after your workout. It's so gross to have to change back into your sweaty clothes after a workout because you forgot to bring some. Trust me. And then obviously all of your after shower nighttime essentials. I have to be moisturized after I take a shower. There's nothing worse in the world to me than getting into bed with dry skin. It's gross. Um, so this is really important to me. I would honestly rather forget like shower shoes than I forget my lotion. So just make sure you have all of your shit before you go in and you'll be good. Ooh. Cameo, guest appearance. 
Jim Fit Check. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am in bed and I'm going to try not to be long with this because this is the first time that I've urban camped in a while. I've been out in the desert and now I'm in the city and I'm a little nervous. But anyway, basically once I got in here, I immediately put all my window covers up because any light such as the one that I'm using right now to film shines like a spotlight. Also, you know, I have neighbors here. I want to be courteous. I also just don't want people walking into the gym late at night to be hearing a monologue coming from a suspicious van. Anyway, I think that it's going to go fine. Hopefully, I don't get the knock. But honestly, if I got the knock, you guys would already know because there's no way I would not put that in the title of the video. That is such good clickbait. So if that's on the title of the video, then you know that this went well. But I'm super glad that I got to do my nighttime routine in the gym and didn't have to do it in my van. I'm clean and nourished and ready for bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Mwah. Good night. I can't sleep because somebody's, I think, doing NASCAR outside. But I just want to show you guys. This little Paul Revere lamp is the only source of light I have in my van because my fairy lights, these, I accidentally left on for like multiple days and the batteries drained. So I have to get new batteries for them. And also probably just better lights because um, they're not, <laughs> they're not the best anyway. But this is cute. I feel like I'm like a Florence Nightingale or something like traversing through the night, you know, with my little lantern, like trying to write, like I'm trying to journal, do my end of the day journal by like this little lantern light, I'm, like looking for stuff with a little lantern. <laughs> Very vintage of me. Um, okay, good night. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it! Slept peacefully, no knocks. Now I'm just, all I gotta do is take down these window covers. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. It's weird when you wake up in the morning and you can hear people, strangers, walking around where you're sleeping. I used to be such a pro at this, I would just wake up I didn't care. I would take my window covers down in the middle of random parking lots. I'm a rookie again. Anyway, everything is fine. I'm about to quickly take these down. I'm gonna go inside and use the bathroom, brush my teeth, and then get out of here. Oh wait, let's, let me do this one. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> I had a good night with the help of melatonin. But there you have it. It's super easy to sleep at Planet Fitness. Now go out and try it for yourself. Or if you were just here just to watch me do it, um, congrats. You made it to the end. All right, I'm getting sweaty. Uh, <laughs> time to go in. I'll see you next week. And hopefully I see you on the road, baby. Bye, guys. Thank you.